Hi everyone, welcome back once again to Plants vs. Zombies. Um, I'm getting pretty close to the end of this game actually with the whole achievements situation. I have three left um, and I'm going to try and get them. One of them I might be able to get actually right now depending on how many coins these plants give me. Um, because I need to buy the last plant, and then I will have the achievement for collecting every plant. Um, which is kind of interesting that I don't have yet. I've, I could have gotten it earlier, I've just been prioritizing different things. But it's interesting because it is pretty high on the list of achievements in terms of how many people have it. Uh, compared to other achievements and I have the two most difficult achievements before I have that which is a relatively easy achievement according to the percentage of people that have it so that's kind of cool um, I really want that plant but I also am out of a lot of things I need for these plants so I'm gonna have to prioritize. I think what I want to do is get that plant um, and then I'll be able to just spend as much as I want on <laughs> all of these. I have a couple of other more expensive things that I still am trying to save up for but for the most part once I have the plant I only have a few really expensive things and then I've just got basic uh, Zen garden things so I have I need to get more fertilizer and bug spray eventually um, there's also more plants which I might get eventually and then I have both of these are 30,000 but the um, the different types of Zen gardens so the aquatic zen garden and then the uh mushroom garden the thing about that is that i don't know which of these would be where my sea shroom would be because it's an aquatic plant but it's also it's also a nighttime plant so i'm not actually sure um maybe it could be an either I feel like it's more aquatic than nighttime, but it's also sleeping right now, so I don't know. And then I need more uh, tree food. And then I really do need to eventually get the nine slots thing, but um, first I want to get this 30,000 uh, imitator plant thing. Um, so. To do that, I am going to keep playing Adventure Mode, which will also help me get closer toward my other achievement I need to work towards, which is finding the Yeti. So I'm going to try and do that. Um, also, by, by working on this, I will hopefully be able to also get... Um, there we go. Uh... <laughs> I will be able to get lots of money so that I can buy lots of tree food so that I can also get the achievement about growing the tree of wisdom really tall. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, I feel like that will take a while. But I'm also curious because it's fun to see what it says. Sometimes it says things that I already knew and other times it tells me how to give them mustaches or future glasses or whatever. It's having me give them on the particular day, so that is interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many different modes there are because it gave me future mode first and then I knew there was a mustache thing because there was an achievement for it, which I got recently, but I'm not sure if it's just those two or more, so who knows. Um, but that is something I will hopefully eventually find out. Um, I 
I know I have quite a few levels to get through before I encounter the Yeti based on... This is going off of what I think I remember from years ago. Um, but I think possibly it shows up on the end of the fog levels. Possibly is maybe what I remember. Um, so the one where it's giving you plants, I think. I don't remember exactly, but I know it's one of the nighttime pool levels, I believe, is where that one shows up. Um, and I think it can show up by chance other places, actually, but I think that it always shows up there on the second playthrough, so um, that's something that I'll need to hopefully confirm uh, by playing it, but I'm not sure how far I'll get in this video. Um, hopefully I can make some good progress, but we'll see. Um, it's not super late yet, so I, I feel like I can play for a while, um, and that was satisfying. <laughs> um, I should start planting these guys, that's what I should do. Um, Yeah, I need so much sun. <laughs> I have things I want to plant and not enough sun to do it. All right. It's also fun going back and replaying the levels that I've already played now that I have lots of different variety in terms of plants because it's just really fun because before I never got to use some of these like star fruit or other things I had pretty much only the very basic plants at this point um, the last time so yay more chocolate <laughs> all right need to start actually getting these fire things in. Um. Torchwood, that's what it's called. Um, new Zen Garden plant. Yay! I can get more coins from them, too. I need to actually be more on top of picking up coins because I feel like I may have let quite a few disappear because um, I have not really been paying the best attention to that at this moment. Um, how dare you kill my my pea shooter? That's just mean. Um, And I know I said I'm playing this with like higher level plants or ones you get later in the game, but I'm also playing it coincidentally with the very first plant that you get in this game, which is the pea shooter. So it's kind of a mix here, which is pretty fun. Um, my goal is to finish planting everything that I have. Two more cabbages by the end of this level. <laughs> I want it symmetrical. And it's very close to being symmetrical. I just need one more. Okay, there we're good. So much crunching over there. 
All right. giving me all of the defensive plants um okay i need sunflower i need these guys oh interesting okay and then i need i'm not gonna have a lot of defensive plants but i'm gonna go with this and this yes there we go i have a plan for this layout I discovered that you can use gold magnets on magnet shrooms without coffee beans and I really like that discovery because it's kind of inconvenient if you have to have three things to use it the way you want to so this is kind of nice um all right that is the level forward that I want that and then I need to be very on top of planting them because they are kind of far forward. But it's part of my strategy of layout. I will also put, don't you dare. <laughs> I will also put walnuts if I need to, but hopefully I can get by without them at this point because I want I want my system to be focusing more on the other things first. Um, okay. Ah, two in one row. I actually don't know where that one should go yet because I want to make sure that it's where the next zombie shows up. So I want to actually hold off just a bit on that. Um, all right, there we go. Now I know where it's coming from. And... Okay. one on each lane that is perfect and then i can start on some other types of plants i will actually finish my sunflowers first because i need a lot of them um i'm gonna put this right there for that guy to chew on all right gold magnet that will allow me to focus a bit more on collecting sun and planting things and not worrying about coins disappearing. So that's helpful. I'm also just going to start putting walnuts out um, in the very far forward row. Um, because they're cheaper and why not? And I need things for the pole vaulters to jump over anyway, so. All right. Hopefully the star fruits can deal with this one. There we go. All right. And this is a longer level, so hopefully I'll have time to plant everything that I want to plant, which will be fun, so. Alright, just gonna put magnet shrooms in front of 
all of them that have tall nets so far. Um, this one's still sleeping. Ah, my tall nut at the top is gone. Um, I need to deal with that. I'll actually just start from where the row currently was left off and then I'll go back up to the top. Um, Sometimes on this screen, the when their heads fall off, because I'm kind of looking at that side of the screen with peripheral because of how big this game is on a computer rather than a mobile device, when I just see something grayish in the side, I don't know whether that's someone's head or a coin. <laughs> um, it's... I think I talked about this before, but it's kind of strange playing this as a computer game rather than a mobile device game, because growing up, I didn't have my own mobile device when this game was kind of, as far as I know, when it was at its peak, I'm not sure when its actual peak was, but um, because of that, I would play it on my friend's iPod, and, uh, so it was a very small screen, and then when I did eventually get a phone, I did play this on there too, but again, very small screen compared to what I'm playing on now, so trying to look at the whole screen at once I think is a lot easier on a very small device than a very large screen. Might as well add some regular walnuts. Um, and because I have extra sun and extra time, might as well add a row of pumpkins around my gold magnets as well. Also, how dare you <laughs> destroy my tall nuts, that's just rude and uncalled for, and of course all the things that I'm trying to plant now have really long recharge times, um, but that's okay. These guys down here just hate my tall nut in this one particular part, and I don't know why this one is getting beat up so much. It's the same as every other lane, but it's needing to be replaced so many more times. Alright. And I can now repair that one as well, temporarily. Um, all of my regular walnuts are gone. <laughs> all right, well. I just want to get more pumpkins. I need one more. Um, and then help those guys. Oh, actually, I have one more normal walnut. All right. I think 
walnuts and tall nuts actually have the same recharge time. Or maybe walnuts have slightly faster. Interesting choices. Okay, I will go with because I have extra space I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna give half of them Gold magnet half of them normal magnet and then I'm just going to use entirely <laughs> Snow peas and squash as my defensive plants here. Although snow peas are good, so I really like them. All right. I'm not worried about it because I've got squash. This does mean that my defensive plant, the snow pea, is a little bit more expensive, but I've got twin sunflowers, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. start putting those out. This next one will be dealt with with a squash though. Ooh, so many at once. Perfect. All right. I think I'll put that a little bit closer in just because I don't think that I'll plant all of these filled with uh, snow peas, but okay, so many things, so many options. Okay, we will do this first. The pace of their chewing is slower when they're cold. Um, all right. All these fascinating details when you play with sound on. Because <laughs> like I've said before, I never used to play with sound. Um... Part of that was because when I would play on my friend's device, we were almost always in public, and I don't like causing disruptions in public. Like, I don't like playing music or things with audio in public, um, unless it's like a situation where that's called for. <laughs> like. I don't know. It's... I don't like doing things that I feel like would inconvenience people. That's part of why whenever I make vlog videos, they're always so quiet if I'm in public. Um, 
I usually don't say things in them when I'm in public. I kind of show what I'm doing. Like, I had one where I was at the store and I filmed picking out the thing I needed, but I didn't actually say anything. Um... Because I try to be as considerate of public places as possible, and especially if I am doing more of like a vlog style thing. I don't want to film people who may not be comfortable being filmed, so I'm always a little bit awkward when I try to do vlogging things in public. Um, honestly, I feel like some... that's not what I need there. I do feel like some vloggers that I have seen or heard about could use with a little bit more consideration for people when they're in public. Um, I don't even know if some of them that I've seen in real life are actually vlogging or if they're just like filming for themselves being really disruptive in stores and stuff, but, yeah. Um, I've had a whole rant about content creators thinking they're better than other people and inconveniencing people in a sell to singularity <laughs> video, so I'm not gonna do that whole rant over again, but... I do feel like just everyone, content creators or not, should be more considerate of other people. I feel like there's nothing wrong with just being more kind and considerate in general, because all that will do is improve things. Yay, this is satisfying. I don't know if I'll be able to plant enough twin sunflowers because I'm almost to the end of this and I still have three more to plant and they take so long to recharge. actually are getting very beat up so um I don't think I need to replace any yet I think I'm gonna do the same thing again with these guys and then this and this cool this is again gonna be really expensive but you know I can make it super powerful um 
But because of that, I'm also gonna do three rows of sunflowers, which means, okay, if they start there and then there, yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> All right. almost planted that in the wrong row. That would not have been good. Perfect. I will use a squash on this one if I have to. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can actually get one planted there. Nah, I think it does need a squash. Um, although this one also needed a squash, so, um, I'm gonna just, oh, that's too far. That's not it's fine. <laughs> um, bad decisions. I will just uh, let the lawnmower have this one. And now it's more defended with two there. And that's also helping defeat this guy with a thing on its head, so... It's always the one with things on their heads. Um, all right. I need to start planting some more things here. Oh, that's gonna be this one. Um, I'm almost done with planting sunflowers, which is nice. Um, I don't like how close you are to my thing there. Um, all right, last one. There we go. Okay, this is a longer level too, so hopefully I'll be able to plant plenty of things that I want to plant. Don't you dare. <laughs> um, this needs to be a regular one. Then we need this one. Alright. 
don't like how much they're beating up this one. I feel like there's always one that gets beat up so much more than the others, and I think this one right now is because it doesn't have Torchwood, but it does now, so that's not an excuse anymore. <laughs> um, now it would be because there isn't another three-peater on the top line, but there will be soon. And perfect timing, that is done now, so I can use it. And now I just have to get enough sun to get more three-peaters. And it's very nice not having to worry about coins. makes it much less hectic. need to probably replant this one. Ah, oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, that was so close. I almost got to have my last one. Okay, let's do this. These levels are fun. I'm gonna try to have them in nice orderly lines, but if that doesn't work, then that's fine. That's not what I meant to click on, there we go. Let's do that, and then, perfect, nom. Too bad there are no magnet shrooms on this level. I will keep the walnut for later, because I don't think any of them, eh, that one's getting kind of beat up, but that's okay. I ate my potato mine. That's okay though. I need more snow peas. I don't have many. I 
but this is very satisfying. Don't you dare kill my... I did kill my thing. to remember to actually click on ah yes <laughs> there's another um i have to remember to actually click on coins i'm actually gonna do that for fun also, because I don't like how much they're beating up my walnuts. Also, there are so many of these that I'm just gonna do. Another row of them. Because why not? Ah, yes! Another Snoopy. I love them. Another! Yay. Now I just need chompers. Yay. This one's nice though because I can focus on collecting coins rather than sun because there is no sun in this. so few chompers here. Yay. <laughs> that was fun. Alright. Yay. Okay. Ooh. Well then. We've got to go with this. We've got to go with this. Also since it's already selected sunflower. I'm not going to go with sunshroom even though I normally would. Just because there isn't really a point if I have sunflower and I don't want to use up too many spaces. This guy takes so much longer to give sun than sunshroom, though. Because there's that whole thing about how sunshroom doesn't like sun, so it's trying to get rid of it as fast as possible. Um, or something. Which is why it produces sun faster than sunflower. Um, which I guess makes sense if it's a nocturnal plant that it wouldn't like sun as much. Um, so, I don't know, but Sunflower, in perspective, does take a long time. <laughs> so, I hope that I get the opportunity to use Sunshroom more, because I prefer it. It's, in my opinion, cuter. It's also faster, so...
Also, the reason I have the sun not as the furthest back thing is because Scaredy Shroom will freak out and hide if things get close to it. So, just in case I'm having it the farthest back thing. Um, not that I'm too worried about things getting all the way to there, because I happen to be an expert at this game at this point, which I feel like I can say because I beat Base Breaker, and that was, uh, <laughs> that was the hardest part of this game for me, so. Um, I got to 15 on Base Breaker, and now I feel like everything else in this game is super easy. Um, <laughs> so, I have plenty of sun now, and now I can focus on more important things. And I realize that the way I said more important things is the way I said that line in a <laughs> commercial script that I read for my reel. But that was not intentional, that just happened to be the thing I said and I automatically said it that way. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so many things I need to plant here. Let's see. I need to do... These guys take a while to recharge, I think. So I need to start those, and then I need to get rid of this row because they were never going to stay this plant. They were going to become magnet shrooms because I don't think there's anything in this level that has metal. So I don't think I need normal ones. I think just gold magnet. I know I just said we'll become magnet shrooms. I meant gold magnets. Um, because I think that that makes more sense at this particular moment in time since none of these guys have metal. Except for, like, the glasses the newspaper ones have, I think. They have glasses, right? I don't know. The only one on screen was dead when I said that, so. Um, they do have glasses. And I would assume, possibly, that the glasses might have metal in them. Because I think that's how most glasses work. I don't wear glasses, so... But also I don't think that their glasses are really adding much in the way of defense, so... Ooh, okay, we're getting very close. Hopefully, very soon I'll be able to get this last plant that I want. Oh, perfect! I love this. It's already giving me the plants that I want. Um, sun shroom this time, definitely. And, ooh, okay, I'm gonna go with these. Oh, no, I'm not. Wait a minute. I forgot that I want to get, um, Grave Buster. All right. Like I said a few minutes ago, I'm an expert at this game now.
These guys are pretty far forward, but if I have to, I'll plant a couple farther back. This is just because that happened to be where I put them. Um, that might change. I think they're doing okay for at least the base level zombies. I'm deciding how many rows of sun shrooms I want because I do have a very expensive plant as one of the options here. So I might end up doing three. Um, possibly. Actually, I feel like two might be enough. This is actually a pretty long level, so I think that I can get away with just doing two, and it should be fine. Um, and that way I'll also be able to stop spending sun on sun shrooms and be able to actually prioritize getting more defensive plants, which are important because they're starting to have things on their heads now. Um, <laughs> so they're getting slightly stronger, but I'm not too concerned. Especially because I can do that. <laughs> Although that one is technically supposed to be a gold magnet, but I'll leave it as just a normal one for now because I need things to not have buckets on them at this moment in time. Um, I'm gonna actually put that there now, because then I can put that there, and then I'll let that have that guy to chew on for now. Um, ultimately, it will be replaced, but for this moment, why aren't they? I think this is out of range possibly so um I also do realize that I picked up a coin <laughs> right next to a gold magnet but that's okay Perfect. <laughs> I love it when the timing works out like that. How dare you eat my lovely magnet shroom.
Okay. I need to start getting more, uh, these guys. Perfect. <laughs> no! My little guys are getting so beat up. Now it's time to focus on tall nuts and repeaters because those are what I <laughs> have left to plant except I feel like they're going to try and destroy my, they did destroy my, how dare you, I need my lovely gold magnets, and it's very rude of them to try to kill them. They literally have done nothing to any of the zombies because all they do is pick up coins, so it's very rude of the zombies to be trying to kill them. Ah! Again! They did nothing to you. so much that I need to get planted here. Okay. And not a lot of time left to do it. out of order, but that's okay. Ooh, okay. Well, I need these, obviously. Um, and then I'll go with some cheaper things this time because of what happened the last time. Even though, theoretically, I could have used, um, oh, I should have put Scaredy Shroom there. That's okay. Um, I theoretically should have used Magnet Shroom here because there are guys with screen doors, which Magnet Shroom can take care of those. Um, but ultimately, I think this is going to be fine because I... These are cheap enough that I can have a lot of them, and then they'll be good enough defense, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to do two rows of sun shrooms, but I'm going to put a row of scaredy shroom in the middle of them, so then that way um, they can still be far back, but I didn't have to mess up my line that I had already made, so this works pretty well, I think. And I'm just gonna plant a lot of puff shrooms, because why not? Um, they're not in their permanent locations, some of them, they're just where they happened to be put, but I think this row is where it's gonna stay. Um, I 
it's convenient having cheaper things. <laughs> um, Alright, so then it will be, okay, these are the same, I might as well put this here, because that row isn't quite as defended by only a little bit, but still. Um, well, until now, it's going to be, but... Um, I needed to start putting garlic somewhere, so might as well be there. I do have to remember to collect all of my own coins, because I do not have gold magnets here. Um, I also wish there was something that buried under in this level, because I have the split pea, um, and I feel like it's a waste to not be able to use the back portion of it unless something gets past where it should be, so, um, ah, uh, I theoretically should put, mm, I'll put it there because then it's further forward, because these, this one is already kind of, would have just killed it immediately if I had left that one. Don't kill my... I need this guy to die now. Thank you. I don't have any good... Um... Yeah, this one is just gonna cause problems, but I'll work on replanting it, and then uh, these guys will all get hit with lovely lawnmowers. Um, and I'm gonna put a garlic here so that it can't be eaten, um, or can't be, won't be as likely to be Which, of course, is going to send everything to this top one, which means that I really need some more plants there, urgently. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the risk of having garlic, but not in every lane, is then everyone tries to go to the same lane, so... I need to start adding it to the rest of the lanes. Um, I also need to put this here. Um, there are too many guys with screen doors. Um, this one is probably also going to get through, but um, that's okay, because I just need to preserve it for later. Um, I need to add more puff shrooms too, because they're all getting destroyed. Um, I have at least one uh, fume shroom in every lane, which is good, so. <laughs> Their grossed out noises are very funny. All right. I have enough now for this last plant that I need, which I'm very excited about. Yes! Yay! <laughs> cool. So I now have all my plants, um, which I'm very excited about. And I have a new Zen garden plant, which I'm also very happy about. Um, and I want to see, 
I don't, I just barely don't have enough to get any of these guys. Um, so I can't get more coins from them yet because I need more, but, um, oh, this is satisfying. <laughs> I'm very, very, very excited. I have so many plants in here now. I love it. I do feel like because I need lots of money and also because I have multiples of some things, I am going to sell the ones that I have multiples of just for the sake of wanting to be able to have enough um, resources to support the ones that I do have. So I'm gonna go get a bit of this. Um, and also some of this. because they need love and attention as well, so. That's not the one I meant to put in. <laughs> that's okay. Ooh, yay. All right. Um, and I have enough to buy a little bit more, actually. So now, now I can go check on this one. If you're wondering if feeding a hypno shroom to a dancer zombie compels him to summon backup dancers for you, bet it all on yes. Yep. Uh, save money fast by playing Survival Endless, then email me your bank account number. I feel like that's suspicious. Anyway, you think Torchwoods would be Dow Snow- would Dow Snow Peas and you'd be correct because you, my friend, are one smart cookie. Yeah, I knew that already, also. <laughs> Those hateful Zombotny zombies. Who do they think they are shooting at your plants? It's a good thing walnuts stop them cold. The Pogo Party and Bobsled Bonanza minigames are really, really, really difficult. Want to drop one of the reallys off that description? Use the squash. I've already beaten both of those without your advice. <laughs> also, I do have two of these now, so I'm going to sell that one too. Um, I feel kind of bad for selling them, but... I want to have space for more variety of plants rather than getting all of the same ones. Um, I'm keeping these guys because they give me extra coins though. So that's kind of my logic for what I'm doing with these guys. Um, ah, they look so good. I love them. And I have enough that I can buy a lot more of this. Cause I know I need, okay, not enough. Um, I know I need to grow it a lot for this achievement. So I don't know exactly how tall it is right now. Just when you thought jalapenos couldn't be any more useful, a tree of wisdom lets you know that they also destroy the Zamboni's ice trails. Bam, I knew that too. <laughs> Once you buy the imitator, try clicking the little drawing in the upper left corner of your almanac to access the entry on that sucker. That is good because I didn't know how to use that plant. The number of coins you receive in walnut bowling is proportional to how cool you are as measured by how many ricochets per nut you can pull off. I had already deduced that myself, actually. Please do not tap on the glass, or actually go ahead. Right click on your aquarium garden or during zombiquarium to de deafen your underwater creatures. Whoa. 
Now I want to try that. When I was just an acorn, my grandpa told me, Son, vase breaker puzzles are much easier if you break the vases on the right side first. That's what I was doing. <laughs> oh, it's big. <laughs> Dancers in Eye Zombie may seem expensive, but in the right situation, they're worth every penny. Yes, I agree with that one too. Ooh, it's got a clump now. I had a dream. In it, cattail spikes, pops balloons, and drops zombies to the ground. I don't know what it means. It means they do, which I already knew. But now I really, really need to try tapping the glass. How do you do it? I don't know, because this seems like this is feeding them, not deafening them. Did it lie to me? Possibly. Um, unless it's like, I don't know. This is just giving them brains, not deafening anyone. But I'll play this anyway, because it's why not. Also, I don't understand how they now produce sun. Also, that just doesn't seem like, why are you green now? Oh, right. They're green when they're starving, I think. I want to see how full I can make this. I also want to see what happens if you let them stay green for a long time. I wonder if they die. Can undead things die from starvation? That's a question. Um, there's so many. Okay. I'm gonna, there's a green one now. I'm gonna, lots of green ones. I'm gonna see what happens to them. Oh, they do die. Okay, interesting. <laughs> they make such a weird noise when they starve. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. I wonder if there's an upper limit to how many you can have, because this is so chaotic! I love it. I'm not even trying to get the trophy right now, I'm just like, how many can I fit in here? I'm just gonna finish it, cause this is a lot. I'm gonna just add the last couple. Um, yeah, trophy, <laughs> yay. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know if that deafened anything though. And then the other thing that I was gonna check was is it this? Oh, it's this. Okay. Imitators let you use two of the same plant during a level. I remember the zombie wars back in 76, says the imitator in a raspy old man's voice. I did not try to do a raspy old man's voice whatsoever. Anyway, back then we didn't have all these fancy pea shooters and jalapenos. All we had was guts. Guts and a spoon. What did they do with a spoon? What? Okay. That's kind of cool, though, how it's up here kind of hidden. It's not like an official plant in this list. And then I I just need this Yeti, um, which I'm excited about. Also, I realized I've never read the description of this. 
but I want to. Dr. Zombus rules them all. Toughness in Zombus shall extreme. Edgar George Zombus achieved his doctorate in thanatology in only two years, quickly mastering thanatology, thanatological technology. He built his fearsome Zombot and set about establishing absolute dominance of his local subdivision. All right. I still don't know how Imitator works. Whether this... Oh, I see. Okay. So I think what this is saying is you can have two... Which will then make recharge time faster, I believe, is how this works. So, I actually don't want to use this one. I want to imitate this guy. Hehehe. <laughs> that seems like a really good way to do it, because then I can plant many. I've never used this one before, so I'm very excited to see how it works. Also, I don't have a lot of defensive plants, but we're gonna go with it, so... I'm very excited. I now have only two more achievements left in this game, and it's growing the tree and uh, finding the zombie. Not the zombie, the yeti zombie. English words. There we go. Yeti zombie. All of these are zombies. I've already found so many zombies. Yetis are the ones that are harder to find. On the topic of cryptids, I was never really that aware of them growing up. Like, people kind of talked about the Yeti or some of these other things that apparently exist. Bigfoot, like, <laughs> one of my friends growing up, we went on a hike together when we were probably in, like, second grade, and she was like, we're gonna find Bigfoot! But growing up, I didn't really know people in my family who really talked about those or, like, believed in them. So... It's, it's interesting, like, thinking about cryptids, because I think they're fascinating, but I also think that it would be a lot easier to, I guess, be convinced that they exist if I had grown up with those stories, like, when I was camping with my family, if we had talked about Bigfoot or whatever around the campfire versus just kind of like family stories. My, my family's campfire time is less like the stereotypical creepy story kind of campfire and more like sing-alongs. Um, but it's interesting having not really grown up with that kind of story because I, um, now that I'm older, I love listening to creepy stories. And I was actually doing that earlier today. I spent like three hours listening to some creepy stories on YouTube um, about tons of different things, but sometimes they're about cryptids and stuff like that. And it's very interesting. I feel like there are things, especially in wilderness, that humans don't understand, but I don't know necessarily if I believe it's 
like Bigfoot or that kind of thing. I don't really know what it is, but I also don't really know what it's not, you know? Like, it'd be interesting to know, but I also feel like whatever it is, humans have messed up the wilderness enough. We probably shouldn't go looking for it, just because I feel like we should just leave unknown creatures who seem to be elusive if people don't even know if they exist. I feel like they'd be better off without us finding them and studying them and whatever. I've actually thought about that and I've discussed that with a couple of my friends. What if mythological creatures that are in like legends and folklore and stuff, what if they do exist but they are just, oh my gosh! That's cool, I like the imitator. I've never used that before. Um, <laughs> what if those things from stories do exist, but they just have gone to more remote places so they're not found? I feel like then it's not really maybe in their best interest for them to be found, or in ours. I've thought about this though because there are certain creatures, dragons are one of my favorite animals, and I, it, I find it interesting that dragon-like creatures appear in so many different cultures, mythology, um, and they vary, like, Asian dragons and Western dragons are kind of different in some ways, but there are other things like mer people or certain types of sea monster on, like, old maps and stuff. And it might just be that they see them on other maps and draw the same thing, but it's also, like, if everyone from totally, or not everyone, but many people. Oh, you can use it to stack. I love that. Um, if many people from all over the world in different cultures come up with the same similar creatures, I feel like that has to be based in something. Like, why would everyone come up with a dragon-like thing, unless there was something that that was similar to, that they saw. And maybe it was just a lizard, or bearded dragon, or iguana, or something. But what if it wasn't? What if there was something else in the past? that caused so many cultures to have that kind of creature, or mer people, or, you know, whatever kind of mythological creature it is. Then there are some that are more regional, like folklore stories. Um, I know there's a lot from Native American culture, um, and a lot of other indigenous tribes have their own kind of story about different supernatural or beyond human understanding kind of creatures, um, which I find really interesting, especially when I listen to creepy stories about them. It's very fun. But those, there are certain ones where only one group seems to talk about it or have that specific kind of creature with those specific behaviors or appearance or whatever it is. And yet then there are other creatures that are not proven to exist that seem somewhat universal. Even though there are variations, like with the dragons and having the more Asian-style dragons versus the more Western-style dragons, but still, like, it's just so fascinating. <laughs>
Like, why... Why are some things universal? Unless there was something that inspired those legends in completely different parts of the world. Also, I have to say, I've never played with Imitator before, and I love it so much, especially with Tallnut, because it's so convenient, because it doesn't cause it to take so long to recharge and be able to actually do anything with it, so I love that. This game is pretty fun. I feel like it's- oh, there's a chocolate. I feel like it's mocking me for getting rid of the one <laughs> right in front, and then it adds one even farther forward. Um, played whack-a-mole like the original this is the closest I've gotten to that game I think I actually learned what whack-a-mole was from this game so oh so much sun I love it Perfect. this one because you can get a bunch of coins pretty easily on a lot of these short ones or not short necessarily but the ones where you're not having to get all your own sun and plant all your own plants the mini game levels that's what these are technically um, Don't even try. I will beat all of you at once, because I'm better. Alright. I have been playing this for a while. I got one of my goals done, which was to get that last plant that I needed. I love the imitator. I've also got this growing a little tuft thing here, which is really cool. Um, but... I'm excited. I'm gonna try and get the zombie in- or I did it again. The Yeti zombie in <laughs> the next video. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!